Now let us see the asexual reproduction in animals. In animals, we see different types of asexual reproduction. So among those, chiefly two methods of asexual reproduction are observed. One is budding and the other one is binary fission. Certain animals, they are not able to produce the gametes. So what are these gametes? Gametes are the reproductive cells. They play an important role in sexual reproduction in which male and female gamete. Male gamete is produced by the male reproductive system. Female gamete is produced by female reproductive system and both the gametes the fuse together to form a zygote which leads to the formation of a baby. So that is sexual reproduction. But certain organisms, certain animals are unable to produce gametes reproductive cells. In such animals, this kind of asexual reproduction takes place and it is uh, two types budding binary fission. Now first let us see budding in animals. We observed budding in yeast. Yeast is a kind of fungus when we studied the asexual reproduction in plants. In the same way, we find formation of buds in a microscopic animal, aquatic animal known as hydra. So hydra is an aquatic organism, it is microscopic. We can observe the formation of buds in hydra uh, using the slides. The slides are available in the laboratories uh, which shows the budding in hydra. If you observe the slide under microscope, you will be able to uh, find that. So these are the tentacles and this is the body of the hydra and from one side of its body wall, you can find some protrusion coming out of the body which gradually develops into a small bud. So we can see some three or four stages in which a bud is formed. So after the bud is completely formed, it get detaches from the mother's body and it leads an individual life. So in this way, the new organism, the offspring comes from the mother's body in the form of a bud and after that the bud completely develops into an young organism and gets detached from the parent body and leads an individual life. So this is called as budding and here the example is hydra. So in hydra the budding is observed. Now let us talk about the second type of uh, asexual reproduction in animals that is binary fission. So this binary fission is generally observed in unicellular animals like um, amoeba. If we take amoeba as an example, so you all know about amoeba, it is a unicellular organism, protozoan, and it has a cytoplasm and a nucleus. But its body is comprised of only one cell, single cell. Now let us see how it produces the young ones. So if we observe the binary fission slides of amoeba, we can clearly see that. So when the amoeba it wanted to produce the young one or split into two by binary fission, it nucleus starts dividing and its cytoplasm also starts dividing like this. So where the sharing of nucleus takes place. So what happens is that the nucleus will divide into two and the cytoplasm also divides into two. And finally, the amoeba it divides into two. So one parent amoeba, it um, splits into two daughter amoebae. So this is binary fission. One becomes two, two, binary. Fission means division. So the body of amoeba is split into two young amoeba. So there is no question of parent here. Both are daughter cells which develop into young ones. In this way, the binary fission is the one of the method of asexual reproduction observed in animals and budding is the other method. Animals, they show some other types of asexual reproduction, but they will be studied in your higher classes. Sexual reproduction in animals. Okay, just let us recall 
the process of sexual reproduction in plants. So in plants, uh, you might have uh, seen that how the sexual uh, reproduction takes place. So in plants, there are uh, different reproductive parts, male and female reproductive parts. Sometimes both the male and female parts are found in same plant, same flower. Some cases, the flower may be having either male or female reproductive organs. So the female reproductive organ is the gynecium and the male reproductive is called as andricium. It will have stamens. And the stamens will have pollen, pollen grains. The pollen grains will have male gametes, male gametes. So we know the process of uh, sexual reproduction, the fusion of male and female gametes. Even the gynecia will have um, a stigma and pistil and inside the ovary, ovules will be there. So ovules, female gametes. So female gametes are here, male gametes are here. The pollen grains, they reach the stigma from here. The male gametes, they reach the ovules and fertilization takes place in the ovary. So here we understood the concept of fertilization. That is the sexual reproduction. Fusion of male and female gametes. So that is in case of plant. Now let us see how the sexual reproduction takes place in animals. So sexual reproduction in animals. As like in plants, in animals also reproductive organs are there. We have seen in plants, they have different reproductive organs and reproductive cells for sexual reproduction. In the same way, in sexual reproduction in animals also, male and female reproductive organs are present. Males will have male reproductive organs and females will have female reproductive organs. So in generally, the male reproductive organs are testis and female reproductive organs are ovaries. So we know that the function of the reproductive organs, the function of the reproductive organs is to produce reproductive cells. So the male reproductive organs, they produce male reproductive cell. What are these? Generally they are called as sperms. So we can call these male reproductive cells as male gametes. So in animals, the male reproductive cells are called as sperm and the female reproductive organs produce the female reproductive cells. Female reproductive cells or female gametes. So these are generally called as ovules. Egg. So these are called as egg cells. And uh, here in male reproductive uh, cells are called as sperm cells. So this is the male gamete, this is the female gamete. So we know what is fertilization. Fertilization is an important process in reproduction, sexual reproduction. So the sexual reproduction uh, that takes place when, when, the fertilization takes place when the male gamete fuses with the female gamete. And it forms a cell called as zygote. So zygote, formation of zygote is indication of fertilization. So the female gamete is produced in the female body by the female reproductive system and male gametes are produced in the male body by the male reproductive system. Both these male gamete and female gamete, they fuse together to form a zygote. So that is the process of fertilization.